Welcome to another edition of GR Excerpts, highlighting interesting and trending headlines in cybersecurity from the week. I'm Dwight Braswell reporting on behalf of CyberGRX. We open this week with good news on the cyber insurance front. After months of unprecedented rate increases, the market is beginning to stabilize and is expected to decelerate in 2023, according to the new State of the Market Report by Risk Strategies. While ransomware attacks, fund transfer schemes, and systematic events remain ongoing concerns for insurers, the pace of attacks has slowed due to improved cyber awareness and maturity in the marketplace better awareness at the board level, and increased underwriting scrutiny. Barring a catastrophic event, organizations should expect to see rates stabilize through the end of the year and under the right conditions decelerate 10 to 25% in 2023. But a word of caution too, insurers are still focused on proper risk selection and companies who fail to prioritize appropriate cyber controls may still experience higher rates or even loss of coverage. And media companies, usually creating the headlines, find themselves in the headlines this week. More than 250 U.S. news organizations recently accessed malicious sock goalish malware in a potentially dangerous supply chain attack. Cybersecurity company Proofpoint reported it observed intermittent injections on an undisclosed media company that provides video and advertising services to many major news outlets. Threat actors modified the JavaScript code base used to serve content to partner media outlets, deploying the Sotgolish malware across a wider media network. Sotgolish infections have historically been a precursor to ransomware, utilizing Russian-linked TA-569 for initial access. By infecting a service provider that caters to many organizations, malicious actors can quickly expand their footprint and collect data from a wider variety of sources. The attack comes from a period of high activity surrounding the election and proof points. Disclosure comes on the heels of the recent incidents at the New York Post and Thomson Reuters. And in international news, Australia has been hit hard in recent months with a proliferation of cyber attacks. The lack of sufficient penalties and accountability has made Australian organizations attractive targets for cyber criminals. However, the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority is consulting on new standards to bolster operational risk management and strengthen cyber risk practices in banking, insurance, and superannuation, also known as retirement pension benefits. Major data breaches disclosed since August have affected entities across multiple sectors in Australia, although the attacks were not coordinated. The frequency and severity of these incidents carry significant implications, including ransom losses, lost business, operational interruptions, legal implications and reputational risks, and customer attrition, among others. And in Denmark, trains stopped last week as a result of a cyber attack. Trains operated by DSB, the largest train operating company in the country, came to a standstill on Saturday morning, lasting several hours. But the attack wasn't targeting DSB directly. The disruption was the result of a security incident at Supeo, a Danish company that provides enterprise asset management solutions to railway companies, transportation infrastructure operators, and public passenger authorities. Supeo shut down its servers following the cyber attack, adversely impacting DSB trains. The incident illustrates how an attack on a third-party IT service provider can result in significant business disruption. While this incident was the downstream effect of a third-party breach, threat actors attacking railway operators is not uncommon, with recent targets including Belarus, Italy, the UK, Israel, and Iran. And lastly, LinkedIn users can expect to see changes coming soon to the professional networking platform. The social media giant recently announced it's beefing up security to curb deep fake accounts and fraudulent activity. The changes will be rolled out globally over the next few weeks and include an about this profile feature displaying when a profile was created, last updated, and if the member has a verified phone number and work email associated with their account. Advances in deepfake image detection using deep learning models and advanced technology to determine if a profile picture was AI generated, which is often associated with fake accounts. And warnings on messages that include high risk content or may impact member security. The alerts also give members the opportunity to report messages they believe are scam. LinkedIn hopes the update will help keep members safe and slow down cyber criminals. 
And that's it for this edition of GR Excerpts. Subscribe on our YouTube channel to receive future updates. Until next week, I'm Dwight Braswell for CyberGRX, the risk management platform that helps you pinpoint, measure, and prioritize your third-party cyber risks so you can plan appropriately and sleep soundly.